Hello everyone, welcome to bmodeler.com. In this video tutorial, you will be learning rivet structure uh, floor. How do we model the floors? So it is similar to the wall and you have to select the wall uh, and you have to select the type. In a similar way, you will be able to select the floor and you will be able to select the floor types. It could be any floor type based on the thickness or based on the deck or whatever it is. You have to select their type in here and you have to select your level i'm in the level level two and you will be able to see that level two reference if you want you can change that level two also automatically it goes into that flow and as you know that while uh, modeling the foundations of floor uh, you will be able to select the wall right so the same way you will be able to select the walls here and to get the footprint of the uh, floors you you can draw it as i said you can draw it uh, manually from corner to corner or you can use the pick line method and you can pick it so the easiest way is that picking the ball of like this so since it's it's a level uh, 2 i'm going to draw all around a full full cycle and i'm going to say finish i don't have any slow, slope value so let me go ahead and finish it uh, the direction and let's say that if you wanted to attach it you can attach that because it will be overlapping so let me say attach see what happens is that whatever the walls which is nearby that uh, floor you can see that it was previously joining walls together joining now wall goes till the floor like in this corner and this this edge so this is an easy option that you will be able to do it uh, while modeling it and and the similar way we can select this floor and copy it and paste it into different levels for the three and four and five and since we are modeling it so what happens is uh, this disjoining options doesn't have asked so we can go ahead and edit the boundary and finish it and when you are doing that it will ask you to attach the wall with the floor so that uh, it, it the material estimation will be accurate uh, it will not count it as two times and for the upper floor as well Okay, so this is how you will be able to uh, draw your floors. As I said, you will be able to change your uh, floor uh, since it's a roof. We can we can change this as a roof as well. So I can select it and I can change their thickness uh, as a deck. And we can have a uh, different floor, structural floor above of it. And we can go ahead with the same model like this. So that's it about floor. So try this and try different shapes of floors and in your model, small and different. Even you can draw uh, one shape of it. And for example, in my case, I can go ahead and draw a shape of this one. And I can finish it. So this floor will be taken into account. So as I mentioned, you can create a slope area this way the floor will be sloped in that direction as 18.1 18. Uh, as I believe it's it will be uh, 18.43 degree sloped so thank you so much uh, do let me know if you have any questions related to this I will be able to answer it as a separate tutorial I'll be coming up with the small tutorials about uh, different different small options for you to understand it a much more uh, clear way thank you so much see you on the next tutorial bye bye